Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube. I'm in New York right now, about to leave for the airport. This is the last little clip, video clip that I'll have from here for a while. I've decided to go home um, with everything that's happening with the coronavirus. Um, I decided during the week and I just had to get stuff sorted for Cooper. I didn't think I'd be able to sort it so quickly, but I was. So that's kind of why I delayed making the decision. So now I have all his paperwork in order and um, he's coming as well and Charlotte is coming. So we're gonna go into self-isolation for two weeks when we go home. I'm nervous, I'm anxious. I'm like, what is this journey gonna be like? I'm sad to leave, I don't wanna leave. You know, I still have to keep my apartment, pay my rent. This is not the year that I planned like a lot of people, but I'm lucky I'm in a like, position to go home. I know that. It's just such a weird time. So um, I just thought I'd vlog it because, um, I don't know. I just kind of want to, I guess it's a strange time. It'll be an interesting one to look back on and I don't know what to expect. So it could be, it could be an interesting journey. Okay, so we made it to the airport and it's like so empty. But the line for Erling, this is actually really long. Like that's where we check in way up there. That was not the easiest journey to the airport ever. It was actually probably the most stressful one I've ever had. I was waiting for like an hour. It was so busy in there, like, like I'm checking in for Erlingus. And then my bag got pulled. What else? I don't know. Every delay we could have possibly had, we had. But we're here. Um, we're boarding in like 20 minutes. Oh my God. I'm so glad we stayed down though. I'm gonna pour myself a very large glass of wine. I also got myself some food. Starving. Made it back. <laughs> it is grim. So we have each other. Isolation house. We're pretty isolated, it's safe to say. Wait till you see the inside of this house. This is the kitchen, and then this is the view. Look at that. How gorgeous. We're gonna be reading, doing yoga, just chilling. There's two bedrooms, one is here, it's got a gorgeous bath and a view, and then the other one is at the front. That's the bathroom. <laughs> and I'll show you the other, bed the other bedroom. Oh my God, we're not gonna wanna leave here. napped when we got to the house uh, we were both exhausted still exhausted we napped about three different times and now we're just watching movies um, and chilling there was such a nice sunset and just kind of taking it easy and getting into like the slower pace lifestyle but we have a really nice place to do it so we're very lucky but uh, I'm probably gonna go to bed soon so I will check in with you tomorrow and kind of tell you what we're up to okay bye walk in the middle of nowhere it's literally you can't see a person a house a car so nice and it's such a nice day <sighs> look at this for lunch we've got egg scramble avocado bacon brown bread we've got tea Shara the chef is over there and we're listening to Christy Moore. <laughs> this is the, the dream.
We are cooking up a storm. We got chicken, veg, pasta, some veg fries in the oven. So Charlotte's giving me a workout in the kitchen and we're using beans on our weights. We're doing kettlebell swings with, with beans. <laughs> Another spectacular meal by Charlie Casey. <laughs> Now we have the chef back for the third meal of the day. We're having a veggie omelette. We're on FaceTime here, Dylan, who's giving us some pointers. You'll be on YouTube next week, Dylan. You have to cut the onions the other way, Charlotte. Oh no, <laughs> taunt you there, come in here, give me cheese. <laughs> oh my God. Master. How is it in New York, Dylan? Oh, fine. Hanging in there, hanging in there by its thread. Yeah. Good morning guys, it is week two in quarantine. I'm back in Ireland. Um, I kind of took the week off last week just to take it easy um, and enjoy the downtime, enjoy this kind of slow time. It's like amazing. So I've been taking it very easy. We've been cooking, reading, uh, watching programs, going for walks and it's just been really nice and relaxing but I want to show you of course I already ate my breakfast I forgot to record that sorry it's getting all dark uh, but we've been eating like porridge most mornings so I made Charlotte's work because she's not up yet um, with strawberries bananas in there with almond milk and porridge and then honey on top with some almond butter pumpkin seeds and blueberries and it's so good we've been cooking like so much I can't remember the last time I've gone this long without a takeaway, but it's actually so nice. It just feels like really refreshing and like, kind of like the break that I needed that I never would have taken, you know, that kind of way. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. That's what we've been up to the last week. Oh, also I did like a fundraiser last week. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video because I'm gonna leave it open for a while. But we raised like 62,000 euro for Pieta House which was amazing and it was a really like it kind of really put a nice positive spin on what could be looked at otherwise as like a bad situation i feel really happy to be home i feel really um obviously safe at home i have my health care here i have my family nearby um and i'm not alone you know like in new york i was pretty much going to be like alone in my apartment for months um and work has slowed down a lot, so at least here I kind of enjoy that and not worry so much. Um, but yeah, that's it, that's kind of the update. I'll show you what we get up to now over the next couple of days. I'm gonna make a cup of tea now and sit down and get some work done, maybe read my book, which I'm slowly making my way through. But yeah, that's it. Okay, I did a little bit of work, and now I am going for a walk, and it's actually such a nice day. Charlotte didn't wake up. <laughs> It's like 11, so I'm just gonna go out. Go for a bit of a stroll, and when I go back, she'll probably be up. Oh my god, it's so nice, so look at this. Oh my god. It literally feels like, well, I mean, it is like holiday homes down here, but it feels like another world. I feel like this is the part of Ireland I don't get to see very often. So yeah, I'm gonna just listen to some music and take in the scenes. Okay, so I'm back from my walk, started lashing rain. It was so sunny, I started lashing rain. Now I'm on to the first cup of tea of the day. Charlotte is up. Say hi, Charlotte. <laughs> so it begins me hounding her with the camera. <laughs> the joys of being my roommate for the week. <laughs> Number two.
Okay, we did our workout and now we're cooking lunch. We'll start with cooking lunch. <laughs> we're having the curry that we had last night. It's like a veggie curry, brown rice, and I'm having um, black pudding and cherry seven fish fingers. Kind of random because we don't have that much food left, so we're eating whatever we can. Um, but it'll be delicious. Can't beat Irish food. Lunch is ready. It's black pudding, curry. We have some extra rice and veg. And Charlotte's is over there too. Looks so yum. This curry, we had it last night. It's so nice. You actually can't beat home cooked food. You're some cook, Charlotte. <laughs> okay, so after lunch, sat down on the couch to read my book and fell asleep for like 40 minutes. Oh, it's like this corner of the room because the sun shines and it makes you so tired. Or maybe it's just pure laziness that I've developed over the last week. But uh, I'm getting back to normal life after this should be very interesting. I'm getting good at this napping thing. We are gonna go out now for a walk um, to get some fresh air because Charlotte hasn't been out yet. Um, so yeah, I'll check in with you when we're back. Okay, we are home again and we are doing an arm workout. We've been doing this Tracy Anderson arms workout. It's like no weights for most of it, but it's actually really hard. Um, I'll link it below as well. And it's about 14 minutes. So we use no weights for the first like 10. And then there is, we use like tins of beans for the weights for the second half of it. Let me get those out now. Look at this. This has been the view most nights since we've been here. I know it's already, it's gonna be such a nice sunset. I just love it here. I think I'm really gonna miss this time where all you have to wear is like tracksuits and no major plans, we major rush. I feel like in a way, like if you've been watching my vlogs, you know I was kind of stressed out in New York, so in a way, I'm really appreciating this time, as weird as it is. Um, it's really kind of nice to just take some downtime, especially here. I've never like experienced Ireland like this. Charlotte spent a lot of time here, but I didn't and I love it. It's like West Clare. Dinner time, courtesy of Chef Charlotte. We've got a goat cheese, spinach, mushroom omelette. Well, scrambled eggs because the pan doesn't make omelettes. Sweet potato fries and garlic mayo and wine. Alice. Okay, take two. Take two. This is Alice. She just moved back to Dublin. Oh, hang on, we haven't got you in focus. <laughs> Oh yes, she's tan, she just came back from holidays and she hasn't been able to show it off. <laughs> okay, now it's Netflix time. We are watching One of Us, which is a documentary about um, Orthodox Jews in New York, which is really interesting. We watched Unorthodox yesterday. So we're following on with this. Good morning. From our walk, we're having some lunch. We've got some McCambridge's bread, poached eggs, um, avocado, and I've got bacon over there as well. Yum. Such a nice day today. We were freezing after the walk, so we put on the fire when we came in. So cozy. Now I'm gonna do some reading outside because the sun is shining. It's so warm, it actually feels like summer. Okay, I just did some work there. I had to record a video for, um, for uh, Virgin Media. So I put on some makeup and I'm just waiting for that to upload now and then I'm gonna have a snack and maybe go for a walk and then it's dinner time. And that's the day, that's quarantine life. <laughs> okay, so we had our dinner and now we're playing cards. We're playing Rummy. We're on date time to do. We gave up on the cards. How are you doing? <laughs> Good morning, it is five to eight. This is like the earliest I've been up since, since I got here. I just had porridge and I have a radio interview at 8.30. So I just wanted to get up and kind of like wake myself up. I'm um, just chatting about the fundraiser that I did for Beta House last week. I don't know if I said it on here yet. We raised like 63,000 euro so far for them, which is amazing and hopefully a little bit of extra media coverage will raise them even a little bit more, but even just to kind of uh, spread the message and awareness about mental health is great. So yeah, it feels good to be using my time like positively here. So that's this morning. I have 
an interview with 2FM, then uh, Limerick Live 95 FM, and then a radio station up in Donegal Highland Radio. So, busy morning. Okay, so I have two interviews done this morning. Um, it's like coming up to half ten now, and I'm relieved they went well because it's like a it's like a sensitive subject to talk about. So I just wanted to make sure I said the right things. So I'm relieved that that it went fine. I have one more now at half ten, and then we're gonna go for a walk. We've got our routines down. It's ten, day ten of fourteen now, so we kind of have our like daily routines down to a T. So we're gonna go for a walk and then come back and have lunch. Do we have food for lunch actually? No. No. Hmm. We do, sorry. We actually brought in the car the towels we had the towels drying on the car because we've no clothes line, so we can't use the car to dry, but we can use it to dry clothes. But um yeah, we're kind of on the last on our last scrapings of food. I think we're gonna have to do a food delivery later. We actually did a wine delivery as well, which is arriving later. <laughs> So yeah, the last few days now, hanging in there. Just got a wine delivery from Wines Ireland. They delivered it to the door. So we got some red and some white that's in the freezer for later. Um, and now I'm making lunch. I'm making bacon, black pudding, and eggs and bread. Lunch is served. The eggs are over there, sure, if you want them. Hello. To get us through the day. <laughs> Charlotte's moving out of the frame. We are sitting down, having a glass of wine from the wine we had delivered. This is Sarah Jessica Parker's wine. It's delicious. <laughs> Charlotte's singing the uh, Sex in the City. Oh my god, that's what we should watch. Um, yeah, we're just going to take it easy for the evening. Do nothing because we can't do anything. But today was so nice again. We went out for a little walk a while ago. All blue skies again. Can't get over how lucky you've been with the weather. It's been amazing. Yeah, that's it. Just wanted to check in. I feel like this is the most boring vlog ever. Um, they, they actually announced earlier that for the weekend you're not supposed to travel more than two kilometers and we're supposed to go home on Sunday. So I have to call the guards tomorrow to make sure we can go home for our Sunday roast, our Easter Sunday roast. So I'll fill you in on that when I know. But until then, I will be here enjoying the wine. Dinner time, courtesy of Louise Cooney tonight. We are having it's nothing special. <laughs> fish fingers and waffles with some homemade garlic mayo, just saying. <laughs> okay, face mask on, hair mask in. Netflix time. <laughs> We're watching Bill Gates' documentary on Netflix. Apparently he like predicted the pandemic. We're having a very lazy day today, like a self-care day. Charlotte! No, <laughs> go away. <laughs> she won't join my vlog ever. Hello, I am home in Limerick in my home house. Um, I had planned on like vlogging the whole week. So Cooper just walked in, um, like of quarantine and stuff, but like this is a weird time for everyone. It's a weird time for me. It feels weird to be recording when I don't even know like what my, what I should be doing work-wise. A lot of the time, like everyone else, I have no makeup on. I'm in just like kind of taking it easy and I've been enjoying like the, the downtime as well just didn't feel like natural to be recording. Um, I'm also totally out of like my comfort zone with what I normally record, like I normally do like fashion and beauty and like it just doesn't really seem like appropriate to be doing that stuff. I also haven't been going anywhere. Um, it's unfair to ask other people to be in my vlogs now because it's just not really a time that people want to be recorded, you know, like it's, it's stressful. So we did the two weeks anyway isolation in Doolin and now I'm at home, I got home yesterday, it's Easter Monday, and there's six of us in my house, two dogs, a cat, and some fish. So it's very busy, um, but I'm really happy to be home. It's just nice to be around my family, to feel safe. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna like try and make the most of this time because we'll never get this time together again. I haven't been at home with everyone other than Christmas since I've been like a teenager, so. Yeah, um, no idea when I'll get back to New York yet. Um, I guess I, I'm gonna try, I'm taking yesterday and today kind of like holidays because they are Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna try and get back into a good routine. Um, I did a 15 minute workout at the back earlier. Very grateful to have like a back garden. I did a walk earlier with Cooper and, the do and Winnie and my sisters and my mom. So yeah, it's just gonna be all new routines. So starting tomorrow, I'm gonna to try and get into somewhat of a good routine uh, just to keep myself sane, like everybody else. Um, online is a weird place at the moment. Like I might work 
I've a lot of jobs have been cancelled, nobody's really booking anything in, so it's scary. Um, I'm trying to keep going with what I have. Um, trying to do things that are like appropriate, so like loungewear, the odd bit of not loungewear, because hopefully there will be, but well, there will be, you know, normal life after this where we'll want normal clothes. And it is nice, I think, as an escape. But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in. I wasn't even going to post this vlog, because I was like, I just so in two minds about even sharing this time. But people have been asking me where oh, I have my posts on YouTube, and I think I'm just. I'm normally quite hard on myself to get a lot of work done and during this time I'm just kind of taking it a bit easier and doing what feels natural and appropriate but um yeah I just thought it seeing as I recorded it I'd share a little bit of what I've been up to the past two weeks and I'll see how this goes and maybe I'll start recording a bit more again um around the house if people are okay with it but yeah I'll just show you show you what home looks like right now dinner is nearly ready and then I'm going to edit this and get it up. But I uh, just I kind of wanted to honestly fill you in on why I have been absent on YouTube. Um, but yeah, Cooper is here. When he is downstairs, I'll bring you down and say hello to everyone. Hello, oh, welcome here. Yeah. Dad, are you happy at home? Delighted, Louise. Absolutely thrilled. Yeah. Someone at the door. Yeah. Welcome home. Who's at the door? No one? No one. Oh. Grace and mom did the groceries. I'm gonna close the door because I'll run out. Are you happy I'm home? I'm delighted you're at home, Louise. Oh, you said it first. Are you happy? Flowers. See, everyone's so happy. And dinner is on. Winnie is here. We have a very busy house. If I could show you how good this smelled, I would. And the weather's been really nice. It's been really nice all week, so. Heading out the back. Plan on taking some sports, trying to get Nicole to play badminton with me this week, or tennis. And we're gonna do loads of walks, do some yoga, play some board games, watch loads of movies. I'm gonna hopefully get better at cooking too. And that's the plan. So yeah, I'll fill you in on everything as it happens. I hope you're all staying safe and um, enjoying this time as much as you can. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll be back new normal content soon because my old normal is just not working anymore <laughs> but um yeah stay safe guys